guys, welcome back to a new video. My name is Anushka, if you're new here, and today we're going to be doing a concealer review. And I was on the Boots website the other day, just scrolling through, and I happened to see... I don't even have my concealer ready. As I was scrolling through the Boots website, I saw this infallible More Than Concealer by L'Oreal. And I have the shade 336, which is Toffee Caramel. No, Toffee. It's called Toffee. And this is the shade 336. It was a bit of a trial and error process as I was buying this because I went to a couple of boot stores and I couldn't find them. So I really couldn't like swatch them and see what shade is good for me. So I ordered some online and then, you know, found out like this was the closest to my Tarte Shape Tape because I carry that around with me now. So yeah, I'm hoping this will be a really good match. On the Boots website, they have 16 shades available. I mean, like, I think there's only, like, four shades above mine, which, to be honest, I think there could be more and some can have some improvement on that, for sure. I feel like they have some alright, like, brown shades, but maybe need a bit more deeper shades, for sure, and more, like, tan-rich shades. It's 9 dollars It's on free for two at the moment, just letting you know, guys. Whatever your concern, blemishes, dark circles, uneven skin tone, we've got you covered with our new More Than Concealer. Uh, with 25 shades in the range, so you've got 25 shades, mind that, I guess they don't have the others in stock. That is not bad. I need to see the range first, I need to see the range. You can find the perfect one to brighten, correct, contour and highlight. That's why it's our More Than Concealer. Full coverage finish, lightweight feel. Ultra long wear, we'll be checking that today. Undetectable finish that doesn't crease or settle into fine lines. We are definitely going to be trying that today. Use the doe foot applicator to dab, dot and swipe with expert precision and ease and blend seamlessly for a natural matte finish. Matte finish. It says it's got a large doe foot applicator. I'm curious to see if it's going to be similar to Tarte Shape Tape. Right, let's do a little swatch of this one that I have here. <gasps> it looks like a little mini Tarte Shape Tape. So this is the shade I have, 336. Now I did have 337 which is I think would be good for like NT45 and then I also bought 335 which was a bit more like neutral and this was more, actually no it was more yellow, this is a bit more neutral but it was the closest in terms of um, shade because that the other, the 335 is a tad bit lighter. So this is my Tarte Shape Tape, this is the L'Oreal one in Toffee. They're very similar, but can you see Tarte Shape Tape is much more warmer, it's more neutral. It's okay, let's see if this is going to work. I've already got my foundation, um, my brow's done, so let's pop this on. The Dofa applicator is huge as well. Just a comparison to my Tarte Shape Tape one, they're very similar in size. I'm going to pop this on. I'm just going to start with a little bit, I don't want to put too much. I'm going to start with my Damp Beauty Blender. Um. What? That is really good coverage so far. With a sponge that seemed to blend really well, the shade is nice and it's not going ashy. It has a tight, like slight peachiness to it, so it kind of like helps to cancel out any darkness I have under my eyes. I do have a little bit of darkness. We're gonna try the other side with a brush because I do use a brush sometimes. Both ways seem to work really, really well. Like, I don't mind using a brush with it, although I do prefer the Beauty Blender. It gives, like, a more smoother finish, I would, I would say. And to be honest, I'm really, I'm quite happy with the shade. I like, it's very similar to my um, Tarte Shape Tape. Right, I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I'm going to head out the door now. I've got to go to work. But so far, I'm really, really happy with the way it looks. Like, I'm not going to lie, I'm quite happy with this. They don't, they haven't really advertised this concealer, like, to be honest, I haven't seen it anywhere. Do they have, like, the only place I've seen it is on Trend Mood, which is in the States, and normally they release concealers there before they come out with anything here. It's not easy for me to, like, see a full range. 
but I think 25 shades is really good but I don't know like the actual range I can't comment on it right now um when I do see it I'll like write a little like comment in the info box um when there is a picture if I can find one definitely really nice coverage it was really easy to blend I guess we have to check like how long this is gonna last for I'm really happy with the shade as well for me like it really highlighted and you know covered the darkness without going ashy which is really good I'm really happy with the shade again I'm the shade toffee and yeah I set as usual I'm gonna hold this on for a good few hours because it's like a 610 right now we're gonna see we're gonna see if it's long wearing okay boots or l'oreal <laughs> and it's definitely matte when you blend it it's definitely a more of a matte finish it hasn't got that dewy shine i love the the doe foot applicator it just made the application like really nice it's very similar to tarte shape tape and i would say the coverage is kind of similar to tarte shape tape it's very full coverage but not super super full and it's set really nice under the eyes i could wear this without any powder because literally i've been doing that lately um so very similar to tarte shape tape so we're just going to see if it's going to crease or you know how long it's going to last throughout the day and also it's very lightweight i feel like there's nothing on my under my eyes so yeah so far i'm super happy i'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and i will see you guys later on all right guys i'm back it's now what time is it let me check my fitbit my fitbit it's now 8 16 pm been wearing this well over 12 hours and i have to say i'm pretty happy with just overall how my makeup looks it's very very natural looking a little bit shiny but i'm okay with that i've got really dry skin at the moment but i like this like really like glowy look i mean i could use with a little bit of powder but let's just ignore that but for my under eyes i'm actually really really surprised it looks flawless still it does crease though like it creases because um i looked at myself once in the mirror today oh shocker no I'm joking but um, I looked at myself once and I noticed like there was some really big crease lines so I had to like you know use my finger and do that whilst with my tight shape tape don't really need to do that so yeah that was that and then throughout the day I didn't even need to look or touch it it stayed fine so I'd say like it's not creaseless like it does crease I mean what concealer does not crease a little bit let's be honest let's be real but then some do worse than others so my Tarte Shape Tape barely budges like there's some slight 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 creasing this has a bit more but I do have to say like the coverage is really good it definitely stayed there all day that it hasn't faded on anything like the coverage is still there it may look a little bit dry, just a little bit. My sister said it looked nice, but my boyfriend said it's looking a little cakey under my eyes. Um, and so when your man says that, notices it, you might want to question it, you know, you might want to question the product. Um, but I personally like it. I mean, I understand where he's coming from because it looks a little bit drier than usual. I think I will give this concealer, I will give this concealer a 7 out of 10. It's not my favourite favourite out there but I'm actually quite surprised at the coverage. It's not as is the same as the Tarte Shape Tape because yes there is coverage but it's, it's drier and it creases a bit more. So I'm going to go show you guys the close up but I don't know would I use it again? Definitely I kind of like it it looks really nice made my under eyes look you know brighter doesn't look super super dry let me show you guys i always have to put the brightness down can you see like the creasing a little bit and that's after like blending it earlier on today like earlier on i really had to go like this and like soften it out because it was creasing quite a bit but and i did say it really well with powder as well do i see a difference with the brush side or the beauty blender side not really it's not much of a difference to be honest quite similar but yeah overall I would give it a 7 out of 10 I think it's quite affordable and 25 shades again I can't comment on that right now but packaging is really good it blends really easily it's good coverage I think the only downside is it can be a little bit drying and it creases a little bit Maybe I should use less product. I don't I, I when I look back at my videos like I used to pack on so much concealer 
when I would do my reviews and when I don't really need that like with especially with these fuller coverage concealers you only need the tiniest amount so I just tend to do just a line and then blend that out and that's more than enough so maybe this concealer just needs less less product I do prefer it with the beauty blender though however a damn beauty blender but like things like oh having the powder stick to it weird or anything like that it didn't have anything like that it went on quite smooth so I think the creasing and the dryness is two of my main issues but I think it stayed on pretty well and maybe it is because it's quite dry that it stayed on <laughs> so yeah I think that's all I have to say if you guys have any questions let me know and what do you guys think I probably would recommend it to you guys who have like um under eye skin um under eye concerns because it's really good coverage for a drugstore concealer like 10 pounds it's not bad I'm gonna stop rambling thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video Love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye!